Hi, good day, it's me, JC, and welcome to Robot Show Tunes, my very own YouTube channel where I get to review Transformers toys, Voltus 5 toys, Macross or Robotech toys, Evangelion toys, and just about whatever else I may fancy. And for today, I am going to review Magic Square's Trailblazer, a third party representation of G1 Trailbreaker. Now, for this and other way cool stuff, visit Hobby Corner in Shopsville, Green Hills. So, first and foremost, here is the box, your front, your back, the side, the other side, top, and bottom. Now, what do you get inside? Inside you have Trailbreaker in robot mode. Accessories include his head-mounted projector, his shoulder cannon, pegs here or the other side, and his wrist socket, pegs here. You can form the hand or the other hand. Now let's talk articulation. First of all, the head mounted projector is on a ball peg. You can have this point way up, that low, swivel it 360 and tilt it side to side, so that's up, down, swivel, side to side. The cannon, let's put it back, is on a hinge. You can tilt it that low and have it point up that high. The head only swivels. 360. Uh, no tilting though, except for the very, very slightest tilt. The head is on a platform for transformation. You can have him look up, but the head will sink into the chest cavity. The shoulder is a combination swivel. You can raise it up to here, but because of the, the, the design of the shoulder, you can't have it all the way out. So that actually depends on where the hand is situated, the distance at which you can stretch or extend the arm. If it's, if it's like this, it can go up to here. If it's like that, it can go up to just over there. And so that's, that's the hinge. It's also a, uh, swivel so you can get 360 there and something of a butterfly because of transformation the this unpegs and goes way out there but you might uh, for poses you might rather use the bicep swivel the elbow is a double hinge first hinge you can go up to there second hinge oh no up to there Second hinge up to there. And the wrist swivels 360 and tilts back for transformation. Let me just get this wrist socket back on the other side. There is this hands up. There is this ab crunch. Ab crunch up to there. And a reverse. Something like that. The jointed ball joints for hips. You can have them split up to there. And front to back. You also get a. Um, hmm. 
thigh swivel. It's a limited thigh swivel because the 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 the, th the cut in the thigh is not straight across, so you can only swivel the thigh up to there, something like this. A uh, double hinged knees, so first hinge. The high, the upper hinge gets you up to there, and the second hinge up to here. Doesn't really give you much though because of the short thighs and long calves kind of limit how that works and the toes they fold down up to up to there actually it folds way down way back and down here because of transformation and the ankles rock inward like that but no outward rocking. Okay, so we are done with articulation. Let's move on to... So here's Magic Square Trailbreaker with Magic Square Huffer with DX9 War in Pocket Optimus Prime with New Age Toys Jazz with Tanaka Tony Robot Formers Streak and Funko Pop Death of the Endless. Now, why don't we get Trailbreaker transformed? All right, transformation. First, what you want to do is to get rid of get rid of that, get rid of this, and get rid of this. Next, well, that hand's already in there. Basically, you put that hand into this hollow, and then you arrange the elbow like this. So basically bend it here and then bend again until the uh, bend it there and bend again so the elbow is stored in that hollow from there turn the head 180 then lower it into that space from there you pull this away also pull this backpack up the camper shell and then put it up there so it's out of the way as you work with everything else. Untab here. Untab here. Swing that all the way to the back. And once they're there, arrange the arm so it looks like this. So there's this space in the middle of the these two forearms, these white forearms. Okay, from there, arrange the shell like this. And just bring it down and then write itself it'll well more or less write itself if you, if you just bring it straight down and then every everything will hinge into place just just get the feel of it so there okay once that's like that straighten this out so so from here, 
straighten this out then work with the legs basically rock the ankles inward oh, wait let's just work with one leg it's the same for both legs anyway so get this panel swing it up here so like I said rock this ankle inward and then and then hold on what's next now rock that panel inward and then get this <clears throat> open this up so this opens up once that's open, you pull this away, rotate this so the wheel goes out back here. You fold this in, bring this back, bring this back, and then fold the toe. repeat with the other side okay so swing this swing this open this swing this twist this so that's tire is outside fold this bring this back bring this back and then fold the toe and once that's done you tab the legs together from there yank at the waist so it extends a bit and then swing it all the way back here and then from there you push this whole section inward so that these panels tab here and until and then the camper shell tabs here and the other side. And there you have Trailbreaker in his pickup truck mode. Now let's move on to size comparisons in this mode. Here he is with Magic Square Huffer. with DX9 War in Pocket Optimus Prime, with New Age Toys Jazz, with Tanaka Tony Robot Formers Streak, and with Funko Pop Death of the Endless. So, now let us move on to my final thoughts. Okay, cons first. Since the head is mounted on a stick, you can easily twist it off. But fortunately, it's just as easy to twist back on. It is also prone to sinking back into the chest cavity. And despite the complexity of the joints here in the elbows, the shoulders, and actually it's more the shoulders and the knees, despite the complexity of those joints, uh, they don't really work as well as they should because of the unwieldy limb sizes and, uh, limb sizes and proportions. Um, 
And again, as with all Magic Square toys, you have this dull, luster-free plastic, save for this X. wait, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, there's this extra smooth patch. It's an imperfection. It's smooth and it's shiny and it's here. It's not really... Pick oh, I think it's picking up, picking it up slightly, but there it is. That shiny, smooth patch of imperfection or whatever. And uh, let's see. Um, and these are these huge, huge holes on the camper shell. Looks like some kind of face. It's kind of a slight turn off. And let's see. It's kind of wobbly here. I don't think Hoist suffers from the same problem. Um, their mold is similar. Not the same, but similar. I'm pretty sure Hoist doesn't wobble like this. Ah, on the Pro column, this is a very fun and clever transformation. Um, and you have options as to where you want to plug the shoulder cannon, uh, be it here or here. Also, the option to plug the wrist socket, either this arm or the other. And it's a very cartoon accurate design, profile and silhouette. And that's in both modes. And despite the dullness of the finish, the colors are spot on. Love these red knees. Well, in robot mode, you have the three colored stripe like things here um, on the leg. And uh, let's see. Oh, I guess to wrap it up, like this, despite the numerous cons, this is actually a fun figure. And to me, the Magic Square truck bots scale well with the New Age car bots. Um, New Age is actually my third party company of choice, third party legends company of choice. And I will definitely hang on to this guy uh, and the other. Uh, MST truck bots I have until another company, hopefully New Age, uh, comes up with a better trailbreaker. And so that is our tune for today. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel and like Robot Show Tunes on Facebook if it so please you. Again, thank you for watching and until next time, see you at the theater.